Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Star Moon Angel 1111. This is Reader Victoria. Um, if you're new here, welcome, which most of you probably are because I just started my journey here on YouTube. I decided to take the leap, even though I've been avoiding um, being a part of YouTube for quite some time because of, you know, I just wasn't ready. But I finally feel like I'm at the place in my spiritual journey that I need to reach as many people as possible in the collective. And I find that this is a really good platform to reach as many of you. For those of you that have already subscribed, thank you so much for showing me so much love and support. It means so much to me. It really does. Because that means that I'm helping you, whether it's one subscriber, 10, or a million, it doesn't matter to me. Those of you that have already sent me comments and I've received some emails um, for personal readings and um you know, for guidance and I really do appreciate it. I, you know, I always take a moment to say thank you because it does make me feel very good to help you guys as much as I can. Okay. So remember that this is a general reading. If it doesn't resonate with you within the first three or four minutes, that means that this, uh, reading is not for you. Now don't take that personally. I'm reading for the collective. So I'm reading for a select few of you. Um, so if it doesn't resonate with you, they either that either means that the divine is not ready to share this message for you right now. If you come back, it might resonate with you in the future, okay? Or um, you're just not part of the collective that I'm reading, and that's, you know, nothing negative. Um, also, if you are resonating with me, take it as it resonates. There might be things that don't resonate with you. There might be things that resonate with you. That's because everybody that's part of this collective has their own... Um, specific journey even though uh, the feelings are pretty much the same so take it as it resonates for those of you that have already booked private readings I really do appreciate it like I said and I told you guys it's like looking at your situation under a magnifying glass okay in that case everything should resonate with you okay I am clear audience so I do get messages from the divine before I even start my reading okay if you're interested in a personal reading, please look down below and learn some more about me, guidancefromthedivine.com. I had a website before, but I just started this new one because I also decided I'm, I'm making big changes in my life right now, okay? I also decided that I want to start blogging on spiritual topics. So if you go over there, I'm going to be posting daily angel messages, daily tarot messages. If um, you check regularly on uh, to my blog and my website, um, I give away free readings every so often. I'm trying to make my little group, my little tribe, so I can help you guys as much as possible. And I'll also be blogging um, at least four to five different spiritual topics weekly. This is the things that are very um, of big interest to me and I feel like can touch a lot of people. Um, my blog is about the journey, but it's also about different spiritual topics. I think for this week, we have... Um, a uh, post about mercury mercury oh my god jesus christ okay mercury retrograde um i'm gonna be posting a, a blog post on soulmate versus twin flame versus karmic what the hell they are <laughs> okay because i feel like some of you if you're new to looking into this have no idea um i'm gonna be posting about being an empath and how to tell that you're psychic okay i am a third generation psychic i'm clear audience um, I inherited these gifts from my grandmother, so I do get messages before I even begin. And I'm so thankful for them to guide me. Not for myself, because this is a selfless thing for you guys, okay? All right, so everybody connects to the divine a little bit differently. I connect to the divine through fire and through heat. That is my way of meditation to get into that place. So just give me a moment. I'm going to go ahead and use my cute little thankful... Um, candle i want to thank my friend josephine that gave me this um because she knew that i was starting this and she gave me she knows i love candles and because i read so often they die pretty quickly so actually candles it's the best present you could ever give me it means a lot well, give me one second Divine masculine. 
All right, so this is going to be a quick um, energy reading on Divine Masculine and what's going on in the journey. Um, I know I said yesterday that I was going to post a longer video. I am either tonight or tomorrow. By longer, I mean an hour because I say longer and people are like, well, this isn't short. It's 30 minutes. But, you know, when I give a full, full, full general reading, um, I go on long because I want to give, you know, angel and my spirit guides and the divine uh, share a lot with me. And I don't mind taking the time out to do that. Uh, but the same way that I'm starting to get to know some of you who've been emailing me, um, and I hope to get to know more of you. Um, I'm here not just to do readings and guide you, but I'm also here to be your friend, okay? So you need to learn a little bit more about me too. So I'm a single mom. I love my little baby. She's the best. So I have to actually go pick her up from school really soon. Um, so... Um, even though I want to make this longer reading, I really just can't because I have no help. So, all right. So let's see where Divine Masculine is at right now. Let's let's just take a, a quick little peek into his energy. Now, when I say he, I'm going to talk about my subject pronouns <laughs> very quickly, okay? And I, I feel like every single reader, when you go through reading, say the same thing because it's I mean, we're still human after all, and it's not natural for us to refer to masculines as female and female um, as uh, to male, but we know better. We know that the divine doesn't know anything about gender. The divine doesn't understand time, only energy. That's why if this doesn't resonate with you, it's because it's not your time. It's not, uh, you're not in that energy yet for this reading. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to be saying he for divine masculine, but if you're watching this and you are a uh, divine feminine that happens to be male and the divine masculine is a female, that's fine. Forgive me. It's just easier. I really don't want to take the sec. Like every time I say something, stop and pause and correct myself. It just helps me flow better. Okay. Disclaimer. I am the worst freaking shuffler on the face of this planet. <laughs> um... But I know that I'll get a little bit better. Even though I've been reading for forever. It's because there is no getting better. I could barely even hold a pen. If I showed you, it's so embarrassing. To this day, I can't hold it appropriately. My hands are so little. So. All right. Let's see what's going on with Divine Masculine. Quickly. Energies. And what they want to tell you. That they can't tell you right now. Whether you're in, uh, in communication or not communicating right now, okay? So by masculine, spirit, angels, please come forward and give me messages. See where the energy's at. I know it seems that I shuffle a lot and for a long time, and some readers just shuffle once and that's it for the whole reading, but this is actually kind of like the same thing as my candle um, routine. As I shuffle, I'm also concentrating and listening. That's that's what's going on because I'm clear audience. That means oh, we have to jump out. That means that I get up oh, four. I'll keep them there. That means that I get messages directly from the divine, and I have to I shuffle as I listen. So let's see what we got have here. I don't know if you've noticed if you've been following my readings. Jumpers are so common, and they're never an accident. They always make perfect sense. Because that means that they're, my angels in particular, they're the ones that help me with these readings, are here and they help. Also, I don't read reversals. I know a lot of people uh, do. I mean, I do when they tell me to. But 97% of the time, I don't. The tower, holy shit. See, the divine knows when I'm in a rush because I have to pick up my little one. So they know... And that's why I'm getting so much, so many jumpers in the last video, the same thing, because they knew that I, you know, was on a time crunch. So they're like, you know, I'm going to make this as clear as possible. I'm going to help you out um, so that you can uh, guide the collective. So we have the tower. Holy crap. Intense energy already. Nine of wands. The chariot, two major arcanas. And the Eight of Swords. Jeez. What am I getting here? Let me listen. 
Okay, so what I'm getting here right now, remember uh, this is the current energy uh, for today, but if, you, if you've if uh, you come across this reading um, next year, whenever you come across it, that means that's when you were meant to see it. But right now, for those of you that are watching right now, these are current energies. Divine Masculine has been hit by a tower, has having a tower moment. For those of you that don't know much about tower, I'll explain it. What does the tower look like? Look how intense that is, okay? The building's on fire. It's disaster strikes. Lightning's hitting it. There's fire, smoke. People have no choice but to jump out of the building to save themselves, okay? So what I'm getting here is that Divine Masculine right now has been hit by sudden epiphanies or things that are going on in their lives in particular in regards to divine feminine okay that's what they're telling me they have realized that they are in love with you and i feel like the divine masculines have a very hard time being vulnerable whether it be because they're in a karmic situation this could be another relationship work stress anything like that it could also be because some of you have might might that are in communication uh, might have gotten into an argument or something very sudden recently. But what I'm getting here is that this came out of nowhere for the divine masculine, and because something happened very recently that hit them, and that something is because I'm still sticking strong that the energies are so strong right now in the month of March and April, or whenever you're seeing this. But right now, for those that are seeing it, March and April. Um, for union so freaking strong so what I'm getting here is exactly that divine masculine has realized that he loves the divine feminine like truly does if they're in a karmic situation they realize that they can no longer be in this situation they don't know how to get out they just want to jump out just like the people out of jumping out of this window they don't know how else to get out they want to come toward you the chariot this is all about movement moving forward This is Divine Masculine's uh, need to get away from a certain situation. This is Divine Masculine's need to come towards the Divine Feminine, to come forward to you guys and express their love to you. They 100% finally wholeheartedly know that you're the love of their life. What they don't know is whether or not they can move forward with you or how to. I feel like some of them are in the karmic situations in regards to work. They're, they need to fix their finances. They don't feel like they can provide for you the way that they should or wish they could. I feel like a lot of divine masculines are insecure and feel like if they're not completely secure in their lives and able to provide for you, then they are not like, quote unquote, manly enough or womanly enough. So just put yourself in their shoes for a minute. If you just realize how much you love somebody and you want to move forward with the chariot towards uh, union, but you have these feelings of the nine of wands and the eight of swords, very intense energies. Can you imagine how stuck that must make divine masculine feel? So even though you guys are also suffering, some of you are suffering, some of you don't know what the hell is going on in the journey. Some of you even want to give up. Divine Masculine is also in this energy of Eight of Swords. You both are kind of pretty much. You guys feel stuck because you don't know whether or not this is even your twin flame or, or soulmate. You don't, you're starting to lose hope a little bit. Remember, take it as it resonates. They feel bound by the situation. Okay, look at nine of, of the nine of wands. He has a lot of fear in his eyes. Look at, look at his eyes. He looks like he's standing there courageously. Like here I am with this big ass wand. <laughs> but that look in his eye is still, there's still some fear in there. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna put up a front of facade that I have it all together and I'm not scared. But every time they think that they're ready to move forward towards union or contact you if you're in no contact or take that leap, 
they fall back into this eight of swords now that is not to say that that's the energy for quite some time right now that these are the energies right now but you can't escape this freaking tower if you wanted to what are you gonna do burn to death look at the look at it what are you gonna do can't escape it it's either move forward or die so union is near but right now they don't even know how to approach you some divine masculines even though masculines are very a lot of them are very powerful a lot of them are also very sensitive and emotional and because of the things that you went through in the past they feel like you might not accept them even if you're in communication they don't know if you'll accept them as a lover they don't even know what to say right now i feel like a lot of them are keeping to themselves we have two that jumped out i'm telling you my shuffling skills are like you know what last time i shuffled i don't know if you noticed you can scroll you can go back to the video in the beginning so that you could see it and then fast forward again but this was at the bottom of the deck twice already so i have to pull it out this is a page of pentacles pages were about thinking about doing something being certain and finally realizing thing something thinking about it but not taking any action yet nights are about finally taking that thought and that feeling and going towards it okay and kings and queens in the deck are about finally being in that power and that already happening so since this was there twice i have to pull it out the pinnacle look at it it's that offer look at his face he's like here baby this is for you i want to give you everything this also pinnacles also refer to money so that goes back to uh those that um, resonate with the fact that divine masculine don't feel very much like a man or a woman their finances are a little struggling right now they feel like they need to make a career change because pentacles are about money so they feel like they want to give you something but they can't right now so that keeps them in this eight of swords energy that's right over here stuck but they're going to soon realize that they can't be in this energy for long they're going to realize the importance what's actually important here and that's creating an emotional bond and continuing on this journey everything else is to follow they're almost there, guys. There's been a lot of changes. I'm actually proud of Divine Masculine. A couple months ago, they were so freaking lost. Like, you, it, you could have been in their face and they wouldn't even know that they love you. But they know. And this fell right underneath the tower. So what does that mean? Part of the reason, part, part of this tower moment, this sudden epiphany, is the fact that they do want to offer stability. They want you to be their boyfriend or girlfriend. They want to get married. They want to have babies with you. They want stability wherever you're at whatever you're comfortable with some of you don't even believe in marriage so it doesn't have to be that okay but union they want to offer you everything they know you're like a goddess to them a lot of you are doubting that they even feel this way but believe me they are i've been saying it over and over again in my readings because for the collective that i'm reading that's what's going on and it, you can't you can't make it up because i mean look at the cards it goes hand in hand with all the readings that I've been doing and everything I'm saying right now. And they're always the same thing. Wanting to move forward. Divine Master miss, misses you. He had an epiphany. He knows he loves you. He doesn't know what to do. Yet. Right? These fell out. Oh my God. The Ace of Wands. Oh my freak. <sighs> this happens in every reading for me. Like, I don't just draw cards and lay them out. Like, they always fall out. And every time they fall out, they're very important, intense messages. Two aces. Do you know how rare that is? Look how many cards we have here. Ace of Wands is passion. Ace of Cups, emotion. Cups are about emotion. And look at them. They both have a hand next to the page of pentacles thinking about offering you stability okay what do they want to offer you they want to offer you passion a new beginning union what else do they want to offer you their love their emotions their feelings you ever heard the saying pouring out your heart that's exactly what the ace of cups is emotion all that water those are emotions pouring out. They want to come forward and tell you how they feel, you guys. They want to apologize for everything they've done. They feel ashamed about it. 
They want to tell you that they've learned their lessons. They want to tell you that they want union. They want to tell you that they love you. They want to get married. They want to leave the karmic situation. They want to tell you that they trust in this. They want to tell you that no one makes them happy like you do. And they are going to move forward. All right, give me one more card about Divine Masculine's energy right now. Jesus, look what just fell out. Can't make it up. Can't make it up. You really can't. It always goes hand in hand. This card is pretty self-explanatory, guys. This is a Nine of Swords. Look at this person. Laying in bed, their head's going to like explode. I feel like Divine Masculine right now is having a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress thinking about this. And look at all places for it to fall. It falls under the Eight of Swords. These are both very, very similar cards in the deck. Of all those cards to fall out next to each other, these are the ones. And they're always falling out. They're falling out right next to the cards that revolve around coming forward and making moves and pouring out their emotion because the current energy right now is the fact that they're stuck and they're so stressed out about uh, about this they're not stressed out about the karmic they're not so stressed out about 3d things they're stressed out about the fact that they know that they love you they don't want to lose you but they don't know how to come forward yet they don't know they're get they're they're trying to Muster up the courage to do so. Something is holding them back. Something is holding them back from moving forward to this Ace of Cups pouring out their emotion. Something is making them fearful and guarded towards offering their passion. By the way, wands are very phallic. <laughs> phallic symbols are like sex symbols. I mean, look at it. This thing kind of looks like, you know what it looks like. You guys, when you have sex, it's like explosive and like, cause it's a sacred union. So it feels different, <laughs> it does. So, and they miss that, they do. Cause nobody does it like you do, I'm just saying. <laughs> but they're fearful and guarded. So they wanna offer you this, but they're still stuck here. Okay, divine, my angels, please tell me why they're stuck. Why are they stuck? Clarify that, please. Why are they so freaking stuck? Five of Swords. Conflict. Battling themselves. Oh my gosh. Nine of Cups. One more. They're asking me to pull one more. The Moon. Perfect, goes hand in hand. That's a very clear message. Look at the five of wands, you guys. Yeah, they're working together. They want to work together with you towards the nine of cups, which is the wish card, abundance, having everything you want. Living like that life together in union with everything, everything. I'm talking money, emotion, house, kids, everything that you want. But they wanna work with you towards that, but they're at conflict right now with themselves. They're in this moon energy. And I feel like a lot of times if you're in communication, they seem so happy when they text you or they call you. So you're like, um, maybe they just don't miss me because they seem fine and they're not making any freaking moves. No, they're so good at lying. The moon, that's also nighttime. When they get home and they're in their bed, look at this, in their bed, some of them even cry. You're not leaving their mind. The moon is also about being in like very deep, like psychic energies. Look at the face in the sun, eyes closed. They're really, really looking within themselves to realize and heal what it was that stopped them, what it was that stopped them from being able to have union with you in the past. They're battling themselves, but they are coming forward. They are coming forward. Oh, jumper. Seven of Swords. What am I getting? 
they're going to gather the strength to come forward. He has this wand in his hand. He's about to push that shit into the ground so hard. Mine. That's what he wants. That's what he wants. But. What's the but? Another jumper. But. They're stuck between two energies right now. Holy shit. I love her so much. Should I not come forward right now? Is it not the time? Are they going to reject me because I don't have my finances and I can't offer them anything? Some of them feel embarrassed about that. Is this the right choice? I know it's the right choice. I know that I want to be with her. There's no doubt about that. They know they want to be with you, but they... Right now, what they're juggling is knowing whether or not the time to come forward towards union is right now because union is coming very soon but they don't know when and how to come forward and if they're avoiding seeing you and whatnot those of you that are in communication it's because they know you can see right through them they can't hide their emotions if they freaking wanted to so they're stepping back and and reflecting but they're not reflecting in, in like a hermit way that's that's almost positive they're hurting they're hurting because something is stopping them back from moving forward that makes them feel inadequate. Seriously. They need to let that shit go, seriously. Like, they need to man the fuck up, okay? <laughs> but they will. The Two of Pentacles is also my Twin Flame card. This is my Twin Flame card. Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. Inside the Infinity the Symbol. Forever. Forever Soul Contract. What up? Mm, oh my, oh my God. Did you just see these cards jump out? You know what I was about to say? I was about to say I'm gonna pull two more. Pull a couple Oracle cards and then I have to go pick up my daughter and I'll post again later or tomorrow. I love, thank you angels. Like honestly, I thank them a hundred thousand times like, uh, like a day. Because they take care of me. And they take care of me so I can take care of you guys, honestly. I was about to say, I have to go. And they were like, let me get to the freaking point. What did I just say? I said they want union. They just don't know if right now is the moment. But they're freaking madly in love with you. Like, they're madly in love with you. When they do come forward, you're not even going to recognize them. I feel like even the Divine Feminine is going to be the one that's, like, going to be the one that's guarded. Even though you've always been the chaser. I feel like this is going to be so intense. You're going to be like, what the hell? Can you give me a freaking minute? Whereas in a couple months ago or when you guys were in union in the past, if they said, yeah, I want to be with you right now, you'd be like, yes, I love you. <laughs> but this is so sudden that it's almost strange to you. But that's not going to last long because you guys love Divine Masculine. Of course, you guys cannot be apart. You can't be apart. Look how beautiful these cards are. That's why I'm holding them up. I'm just staring at them. They're so beautiful. The lovers, the Ten of Cups. Happiness, abundance, family, everything you want. Your little freaking house. I'm not saying you're going to live in a house, okay? You can live in an apartment, whatever. It doesn't matter. A farm. Who cares? That's not the point of the message. Man, woman, his hands over her body. By the way, I'm totally not judgmental because the, the divine doesn't believe in gender. So you could be same-sex relationship. I don't, I, you know, it is what it is. Again, I said to you guys earlier, don't listen to my pronouns. That's just, you know, making it easier for me to speak. Two kids running around in circles, ring around the freaking rosy around here laughing. Their hands are up thanking God, thanking the universe for this Ten of Cups, this abundance, this love, this true love. They freaking love you so much. The lovers. Union is going to happen. This is what they want. This is what you want. You guys are ready. The first car that we drew was the tower. Then we have all of these coming together, union energy. But then surrounding it is conflict, internal conflict. But how long can someone be in conflict before they realize, like, I can't live without this person? You can't be, like, depressed for, like, five years. Divine Feminine, you guys are so freaking lucky that this is 
Union is coming and, and that's it. You guys are going to have this. Lovers, Ten of Cups. Because I want you to know, this isn't just like a love reading. Like, twin flames are rare. I don't want you to think that every single person is a twin flame. No. No. If you don't know, look into it. Learn a little bit more about the journey. Some people were, before they even came into this onto this earth as a human okay you were predetermined you had a soul contract before you came into the 3d to come together and have this unconditional pure love that very few have to to raise your vibration come together and raise the vibration of the planet to inspire those when they see you together to to embody the same unconditional love guys you know that i mean let's be realistic there are people that are freaking married my parents are an example of that for years and years and years and they don't have this unconditional love they don't that's the truth do they love each other yeah they can't be apart but they fight a lot i'm not saying that your union is going to be absent of fight like come on we're so human duh but these aren't normal relationships. These are like spiritual, divine relationships. And if you are just starting to learn um, about twin flames, that's not a coincidence. You might have just noticed and been like, holy shit, this resonates with me so much. That's because union energies are here. But the collective, I mean, obviously this is for people that have been on the journey for a while. But I feel like some of you like never actually took the time to like really really look into it but lovers ten of cups that's where they're at right now that's what's gonna happen they just have to don't stress them you guys don't text what the hell are you doing why aren't you answering me don't add to it because you're just gonna prolong the process let them let them do their thing let them heal let them think let them it's kind of like shock absorbing they're just getting over the shock holy crap i'm in love i feel like a lot of divine masculines have been hurt in the past and they are like almost incapable of feeling like true love and now they realize that they have that they can't even believe it so let them go through this it's not going to take long because the ten of cups and the lovers and i didn't pick them they flew out are coming that's that's what's gonna happen very soon i'm saying like within this month 100 percent. look what's at the bottom of the deck before i move on the death card death is not about dying death is not gloomy death to me is like literally one of the most beautiful cards death is about getting rid of the old and starting the new This to me, every time that this two of pentacles comes up in a reading, that confirms to me that those are resonating. You guys, if you're doubting whether or not this is your real twin flame, because a lot of you are getting fed up with their bullshit, you are. This is coming, this union, this rebirth. You need to die before you're reborn. You guys are going through a huge spiritual awakening. The baby. To me, the baby is symbolic of that. Being reborn. Starting new. To have this unconditional sacred union. It's happening. But guys, don't stress them out. Don't start, you know. Look at my last video. For those of you that didn't see my last video. The one that says what you need to know. Please do. Because then you'll understand what I'm saying right now about how you need to get out of that energy so that you can just allow them to go through their process of shock because it's shocking. Remember, Divine Masculine is a very, they're, they, they're put on this earth with a lot more attachment to the 3D energies. It takes them more time. Divine Feminine is put on this earth to awaken first and guide them. And it's energy. So you might not be together in the 3D, but you might be together. Well, you are together for sure in the 5D energetically. So you have to meditate and help them through this. Oh, my freaking. 
Wow. That just stood out. You saw that? Oh my god. I feel this came out in the this came out in the last reading too. Back to back like that. Let me go back to what I was saying. So send those positive thoughts. Tell them I love you. I love you in your mind. That's called meditation. If that's what you really want, if you're ready for that, if you're ready for that union. If you're not ready, then this is not, you're not part of the collective that's coming into union right now. For those of you that feel ready, let go. You have to still do your work. Look at the last video. I'm going to link it down below. What you need to know. Help them. Help them get past this instead of prolonging it. They're sensitive. They don't know what the fuck to do. Sorry for my language. Whatever. <laughs> Star and the Two of Cups. Oh my God. I mean, it's so beautiful. Ten of Cups. The Lovers. This is the After Tarot. So this is like what happens next. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm getting... Of course, they have to come and like do that right now. Give me a second, you guys. Okay. Sorry. I'm human too. Technical difficulties. So the star, the two of cups, the ten of cups, the lovers. Holy freaking beautiful union. Connection made in the stars. This is the after tarot, so this is what happens after. So they know you guys are going to have this Ten of Cups Lovers union. Beautiful. There's hope for this. this. This relationship is made in the stars. You have a soul contract. This is the after tarot. So in the Rider way or the Universal Tarot, I use Universal Tarot. It's the same, the same pictures. The Two of Cups is beautiful, but they're not hugging like this. This is the after tarot. So this is, and this just reiterates what I just said. This is when union already happened. Already happened. It's already there. Just help them get through this energetically. If you can't talk to them, help them. Don't pressure them. Do it, and even if you talk to them every day, don't pressure them. This one just jumped out. Oh, I love it. It's perfect. Strength. What did I just say? And look, the twin flame infinity symbol on top of her head again. Again, what did I say? Help them be in their strength. Help them. All right, I'm just going to pick, being guided to pick two from the Love Oracle deck, and then I have to go. I hope that this reading helped you. We have a jumper already. Okay. So that's where Divine Masculine is at. He's just, you know, Finding, fine, if you want more, three, three it'll be. They're just finding the courage to come forward. But help them, help them energetically. It's happening. I mean, like, this is beautiful. This is freaking beautiful. This is union. These cards are union. Ten of cups, lover's card. Two of cups in the after tarot. The star strength, that is union. And death, the rebirth. Union. God, they love you. They freaking, they are madly in love with you. Don't doubt it. Oh my gosh, you can't make this shit up. This always happens to me. Friendliness, you are able to recognize traits in common with another in order to forge love-based connections. What did I say? Be nice, be kind, be funny, be, be strong, be in this strength and send them this loving, friendly energy so that you can help them move forward and get rid of this fear and come towards you. Joy. You delight in the love of life and bring a spirit of fun to all you do. You can't make this up. I just said to be friendly and fun with them. And individuality. You leave your unique stamp of love on everything you do. So that's what I'm saying. So this, again, goes hand in hand with what I said. Let them be their individual right now, their own individual. Let them go through these energies on their own. That's what I said before. But send friendly and happy energies and healing energies to them so they can get rid of this shit and come forward to you because union is like around the corner i'm being told i was gonna stop but i really i have to go 
So I'm just going to pull one, one from the uh, Archangel Michael card and then that's it. But I feel like maybe I don't have to do a long one because this, the divine helped me not have to pull so many cards and give you very direct and concise messages. Oh my God, honor and trust your feelings. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for supporting, guiding, and protecting me as I listen to act upon my feelings. Help me understand and express my emotions with love. What were we just talking about? Don't stress them out. Let them go through this energy so that, they can get, so that it can go away and union can come quicker. They want you to send the energy of joy, acceptance, forgiveness, friendliness. And they want you to help them honor and trust their feelings. And let go of this. And they want you to honor and trust your feelings. And stop doubting because it's coming. I'm going to read this again. Thank you for supporting, guiding, and protecting me as I listen to act upon my feelings. Act upon my feelings act so divine feminine you need to act by helping them energetically get rid of this making them feel at ease or nervous it's almost like high school I'm like i don't know is she gonna like me like i'm so scared to ask her out <laughs> it's it's so cute it's kind of like that energy seriously and you guys have to honor and trust your feelings and don't doubt the relationship because even if you're not in communications here i'm gonna pull another one Oh, yes, you guys. This situation is already resolved. I give any worries, cares, and concerns to you in exchange for true peace in all ways. Thank you for resolving this in a divinely perfect way. What is that saying? You guys are already together in the 5D. The union's already there. They just have to get rid of this little lingering energy, which is normal. I mean, we're human. It's shock. Like, you have to get rid of it. He needs to go through his thing. He needs to just be a little hermit. But he's going to come forward again because this situation's already resolved. The contract's still there. Union's going to happen no matter what. Okay, guys. I hope I was able to resonate with you. Um, I'm uh, sending lots of love and light to all of you. Again, for those of you that have been showing me lots of love, thank you so much. I love you for that. Um, helping me in this journey so I can help you. All right? And please uh, go ahead and like and subscribe my video and hit the little like bell button so you can get updates on when I post. And don't forget to uh, visit my website so that you can learn a little bit more about me, read my blog. And if you want personal readings, you can look down below also. Okay? All right. I love you all. Bye.